Huh. Okay. Ah. Uh. What's good, YouTube? And welcome to your bra market moment of the day. Two sales at 500, huh? I gotta imagine this is just to get people talking about light imprisoning a mirror, a pretty good option in past format play that is popular right now. And when it comes down to it, that's pretty much the worst version of it. And I imagine somebody has a huge stack and was hoping for attention on it in a positive way. Oh, that's pretty big brain to like do that. No, Mavens has an ultra rare most recently, the set that keeps on winning that is cheaper than that and plentifully abundant which is a much nicer looking version then if we're even talking out of tournament packs oh astral pack tournament pack big brain you have turbo pack which is around the two dollar market price it has been getting noticed it is lower on quantities but then you also have the duelist league promos looking nice shatter yeah but finally a foil in mavens that is right there and cheap for you so that's a pretty terrible move in my opinion enjoy eating those fees from tcg player for the attention that being said what's good youtube and welcome to a huge announcement i am back to vending sort of kind of not really i'm only going to be selling some cards and not on platforms through the discords and streams we're finally getting around to bulk picking i've said i'm going to do it for a long time and last night we did a test and in the second box i found 30 santa clauses and instead of sitting on them or also wrecking the market and also making it harder for other sellers i'm just going to sell them at discounts in the discord for example i found 30 santa clauses i looked them up they're around you know 14 dollars right now i sold them all at nine dollars a piece so i feel like that's a pretty fair deal and i'm going to try to nail that 60 to 75 percent mark on cards depending on where they are or how recently hyped they are while also keeping others for myself like we found ultra rare green baboon jump ones in the bulk and i'm like yo billy breaks past format deck i think i want to build that eventually and i also really like that card not for sale so not everything's going to be for sale but when i find the ridiculous piles like that i have a deal section in the discord and we're going to be looking at that but i do want to take a moment and say thank you for my office not being in the bedroom anymore and we have the tabletop set up to make streams fun and actually watchable instead of me holding up cards to the camera like this also probably pretty good for future pack openings as well as other forms of content that have this setup. I'll probably get like a tablet and monitor over there for chat and being able to also do pass format remote duels in the future. It's about dang time. Now to your regularly scheduled market watch goodness, Cyframe Lord Lambda secret rares are mad up and apparently this is being played in just multiple decks. It's apparently good in Mana Diem, Mana Dome, whatever it's called now, purely as well and then super super heavy samurai so everything apparently is looking this up according to the discord i haven't seen it personally in action but i have heard about it i would get the rare sooner than later if you can stand the ultra with no foil gold letter rare use that tcg player link in the description down below costing you nothing extra to support the channel directly for the cards you'd already be buying because it's pretty cheap right now and for something that's being eyed that much and talked about in that many decks I would probably just go ahead and get access to it. Whenever we talk about Lambda, though, we go and look at Gamma, and the Ultra Rare is about towards its all-time high at 35, and the Collector Rare is at its all-time high after buyout mode here. Even the Unlimbs up here in first editions almost to 400 freaking dollars. Now, are they selling at that? Not really, but they are getting that kind of attention where they bubbled even on limbs all the way to $300 sales. And then Cyframe Lord Omega, haven't said that name in a while. Its secret rare OG version is up, 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 back towards 13 ish dollars right now, so be aware of that. Now, Condemned Dark Lord is apparently a purely tech. I did want to bring attention to this. It's always been like a $3 card. I believe it was short printed, if I'm not mistaken, out of Dual Overload. I'd have to go back and look that up but it's always been a bit expensive and speculated on here we do see it mixing into a deck as an option and it is going up at this point in time clockwork night for super heavy samurais it got a huge spike and attention here and it fell back out a little bit it's starting to go back and it's around 750 this is a card heavily talked about out of battles of legend crystal revenge and whether it's copium or real let me know what you think in the comment section down below i did want to mention though seeing this effect reminds me a lot of zombie world and if the deck or format ever slowed down to a good degree 
Rivalry doesn't seem like the worst option with that since everything becomes machine and it could really mess with your opponent's decks whenever you're going first. Now, speaking of Floodgate, yep, apparently Purely are looking at Vanity's Fiends as a side option, which is pretty crazy. And the first ad, OG, is up here towards $75, $76, quickly up towards $80, but not on the front page, where the Astral Pack won. We do have one here at $66 now, but then it is $80. So the fact that this is almost as expensive or more expensive than the OG always makes me go, oh, look over at the original. But yeah, be aware the ultimate rares are way up and every single version of this card is 50 cents plus. That's something I would have thought was quarters thanks to Dual Devastator and a structure deck, the Layer of Darkness. But yeah, this has actually come back over time to be pretty solid in terms of value and more than a quarter, two quarters. Amazing Defenders, I just wanted to, after talking about purely, look at the box and this graph is absurd. Up up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. The value inside, again, not really worth going after in terms of packing the cards, but when it comes down to it, like, you'll probably want to go for the singles. TCG player's been doing this a lot today, by the way, so I guess we're not looking at the singles inside. Live editing done cheap. But seriously, it is a wild ride of a sealed. Now, this is an interesting tech in the format, and there is, I believe, an easy access version of Sage de Fleur, but it is way up for the ultra rare here. You can target a monster on the field you control and one card on the field, so that's any card. Special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, destroy them. This is taking care of Floodgates, which we just talked about popping up, as well as Perform a Pal Rainbow Magician here, which is also mad up, but this is a direct out to it. And then you have the added bonus of um, if this card is sent from the field, to the graveyard you can target one other monster in your graveyard shuffle it into the deck and add a level one plant monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand and people are adding Predator plant spider orchid as another back row removal during your main phase of this card was activated this turn you can target one other face up card in the spell and trap zone and destroy it you can only use this effect once per turn so basically a tech to be able to really out boards go kind of crazy go back and forth like old school control Yu-Gi-Oh, and go plus while doing so very interesting so this already spiked up further it's coming back down towards three so people have gone okay we've gotten it out of our bulk we've done this kind of stuff but very interesting tech combos and i love that about Yu-Gi-Oh! how it develops versus cards i've always said to keep an eye on as well i've said while well, this was around 50 cents penny stonk i'd be looking at it here's this funny combo here's that funny combo and it finally also has its time in Yu-Gi-Oh! sometimes it just takes forever though it's a small world after all at least for math mech the deck is playing this card and it is going up even further for the 10 variant as well as the og secret rare especially you can see it was kind of chilling on its hype and then whoop, there it goes back up again around ten dollars sky strikers got new support and linkage is a card that i did say you should probably get sooner than later if they're going to keep giving it support and there it is it only has its one printing out of mavens you know one of those more expensive products where you got to open it to get it and here it's getting a lot of attention right now going up towards five dollars and then guess what's going to happen the cards will eventually get released for us and cause that kind of hype again or announce whenever also, looking around Sky Striker cards, Maneuver Afterburners, the secret rare, the nicest version, and one of the harder cards to get overall for Sky Strikers. Its first as OG has been creeping up here for some time and is now lowest listed $16. And that's kind of interesting, going above market price. And you also have some nice versions of Ray, which have been doing nothing but going down for the most part until recently. You do have them around $3 for first edition, even for secret rays if you'd like a cheap one. And ultimately, Ultimate rares are down over time and not getting paid attention to now. I could see that bubbling up in the future around $34, $35. I will suggest getting the EU variants of these. They look a bit nicer in my opinion, but do your research and figure out what works for you. And finally, the card not named Unchained got noticed a while ago. Somebody brought this up in the Discord and was like, I don't know why this is going up. And I'm like, well, Unchained got support. It's an Unchained card not named Unchained. So that's basically why it's up in pricing and getting attention those cards are pretty darn freaking cool and this deck has always been one of those underdog decks pun intended where people really like it and wanted it to get more support and go to that
that next level and it is going to that next level will it be enough for the metagame not sure there but with that new support people a lot of these graphs look exactly like that where you see that huge spike it chilling out a little but then that support's gonna get here and people are gonna all right i'll get around to it i love this deck i guess if you really did you'd probably still have it. Thanks for watching today's Market Watch. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the conversation. And I will be live at 7 o'clock Central with the Bulk Mines, as mentioned. And I don't expect every string to be crazy finds like 30 Santa Clauses, but I do expect to find some pretty neat stuff and end up learning, actually, and bettering my content through it while also giving y'all some deals. I will only be shipping to the U.S. and Canada probably should have mentioned that earlier but i don't want to ship full international because a lot of stuff gets lost in the mail complaints happen that way so i will be shipping only us unfortunately